All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us on the Whiz Bang podcast here at the Foundry Theater in the idyllic Huntington, West Virginia, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Casey Campbell. I'm your host for today's uh, interview with uh, the wonderful country band El Dorado. We've got their album here. Uh, let's see, you've got the clear right there. Got El Dorado right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that's uh, my band's uh, CD. Sorry about that, boys. Uh, I don't know how that got in there. There we go. El Dorado here, Unincorporated, uh, the latest album from the band here. Boys, welcome uh, to the podcast. Thanks for joining me. We've got everybody here today. Turn around. Look at those beautiful faces there. Unincorporated is the name of uh, the album. Uh, before we get into it, boys, let's go around. I'd uh, like for you to introduce yourselves, if you would, to our audience. Rod Elkins. All right. I am James Barker from Huntington, West Virginia. James. Craig Berletic. <laughs> and I am Doug Woodard. That's the boys. All right, folks, uh, real quick, before we get too deep in, unincorporated. Uh, have you guys ever thought about becoming incorporated, or is it just like more of a tax issue? Well, it's more like we don't have a mayor, so we need to hold elections. Oh, I see. Just between the four of you? Uh, we're open to outside endeavors. Oh, very nice. I, I like that. Willing to branch out. That's good. That's good. Um, well, tell, tell us a little bit about the band. Uh, I know you guys' uh, first album here. How long have you all been uh, throwing down these country hits? It's been on and off since, like, high school. You know, is that right? Uh, which was many like four or five years ago. It was many beers ago, yeah. and uh, and uh, we've been on and off doing stuff and uh, different incarnations, but mostly the same four 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 folks you see right here. Really, and uh, decided that the world had needed saving, and uh, we had nothing else to do. Oh, so we laid down nine golden country hits. Very nice. Um, certified golden or. Uh, we're still waiting on the certificate to come back, oh, but okay. uh, yeah, uh, okay. potentially certified. That that may have you know being unincorporated, may, they may not not just know where to send that certificate. To I, I I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, there's some back office issues. Yeah, if anybody's out there can uh, help us sort that out in the mail, we'd we'd appreciate that. Hit up the Whizbang uh, podcast uh, email address there. Um, so nine golden country hits. All right. So who's who's our writers here in the band? Let's see. Looks like Doug and Rod. Y'all are sharing some duties. Uh, Craig's got one on the album there, and uh, Rod Elkins Sr. wrote Cowboys and Cowgirls. Is that right? That's my daddy. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. He uh, he knew about Cowboys and Cowgirls, so he thought he would write a good song about them. Interesting, uh -huh. interesting. Now, I is it uh, true that Cowgirls really do love Cowboys, and, and uh, is that why Cowboys get the blues? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's definitely hard in today's world, and, uh, you know, Cowboys like Cowgirls, Cowgirls like Cowboys, and... You know, and vice versa, mm -hmm. and cowboys like cowboys, cowgirls like cowgirls. It's okay. That's right. It's 2023. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Modern cowboy. Modern. Yeah. Can I have your sunglasses? Yes. Okay, we'll do that after the show. Okay. All right. I'd appreciate that. Um, uh, so uh, I know you guys, y'all are playing with uh, Tyler Childers uh, these days. Um, y'all able to stay on the road with El Dorado a good bit or – yeah, you we know. do what we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah, good. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's he let us he let us out every now and again. Does he? Oh, yeah. well, that's awful kind of him. Uh huh. <laughs> he's a good egg. That one. <laughs> he's a good egg. They say. Do you do you coin that phrase? No. Oh. Patent pending. All right. Well, I'm glad to hear that. That's a good that's a good one. Uh, let's see here, boys. Um, all right. Uh, is this your first time on a stage as big as the Foundry Theater? I mean, it's kind of big time here. anybody, anybody been on stage before? Not one that's high off the ground. Yeah, well, I mean, it's pretty intimidating. <laughs> I mean, we're like level with the uh, balcony. This is pretty high up there. Yeah, yeah. So is I this what y'all mean by eating big time? We're, we're mid -time I haven't been offered right any now, snacks yet. This is more like snack time? No, yeah. I haven't been offered anything. Slim <laughs> gems. Is that right? Slim gems. Is now, now, now eating big time, not to hang on this for too long, but... I mean, is that more of like a quality of a meal, or is it the 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 quantity? Like, how I guess you, it's in the eye of the beholder, you know, uh, depending on whether you're a quality over quantity kind of person. Okay, I think I'm more of a quality over quantity. Yeah, I look at it as a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's uh -huh. just a broad, yeah, you know, eating big time. It could be 
the gas station curation mm -hmm. you know we all come out and are judging each other's snack choice mm. trying to pick a winner but we'll also find on you know hitting applebee's yeah yeah is it, is it always hot dog based or no no no, no, it's just, no, that's, no, no not all day it's a it's a flag yeah. you know oh nice never never eaten flags uh what, what's your favorite uh uh you're talking about gas station stop that's what, always something i love to know what what do you guys grab I usually walk, walk into the flying J. Where are you where are you going? Uh, I usually take trail mix right to the face. Oh, is that right? Uh huh. Sweet yeah, and, with, a, with, salty a, or just with a Perrier. Uh, usually the one with the M and M's in it. Ah, uh, mm, yeah, my man. Yeah, James. Uh, if there's a pepperoni roll available, I'm usually looking down that aisle. Oh, uh, West Virginia to the okay. core. Yeah, once once you get out there, maybe a little, I don't know, a little bag of popcorn. I like the trail mix. Uh -huh. I, like, I, I like to I like the variety. Okay, well, that's two on trail mix. I, I, like I that. don't meet very many snacks I don't like. If we're circa 2017, I was big on the donut sticks mm. and some Doritos. If we're circa 2023, I go for the hard-boiled eggs. Find that in most gas stations with a cup of fruit. It's a little disturbing. We call that secret menu. You should keep that. Yeah. In, 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 in your hard-boiled eggs and fruit. Uh -huh. Delicious, and, man. Well, you know, I'm just going to take your word on that. <laughs> Proteins and fiber. Yep. Doug, how about you? I'm a jerky and sunflower seeds guy. You look, you know, I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to judge you, but uh, you look like a jerky and sunflower seeds kind of guy. I've been on the uh, Taco Bell taco seasoning uh -huh. seeds right now. Oh. And they're uh, spectacular. <laughs> uh, if anybody out there uh, has a, a sponsorship link up to the Taco Bell uh, seeded, you know, things, uh, let hit up the Whizbang podcast. Let's get a sponsorship for that. That'd be terrific. Uh, you mentioned Doritos a minute ago. I wanted to ask El Dorado. What is a Dorado? Is that is that Spanish for Dorito? I I just wondered. Uh, yeah, it can is be it the like the Dorado. Yeah, it was kind of like the first Dorito, like back in uh, you know Mesopotamia. It was uh, oh. you know the du the Nacho Che Dorado, and then now <laughs> it's circled back around to you know Doritos, and you have your spicy and your your Bajas. Folks, you learn something new every yeah. day here. I had no idea Doritos yeah. go back to Mesopotamia. Look at the big brain. It's actually quite complex. Yeah, I can't yeah. really get into it right now. Well, I, all right. That's for another show. I, mean, I kind of want to delve into that, but well, I got a lot of questions here, so I don't want to don't want to hold on too much to that. Uh, so, Rod, you're uh, obviously the most handsome man in, in the band. How'd that come to be? Well, I was born this way. You know, uh, I wake up like this daily. Mm -hmm. um, this hat never creases in the bed. Uh, you sleep in that hat. I sleep in this hat. Yes, mm -hmm. it never. I never take off my hat. Does it fold up in the back? How do you? Do it that? never moves. You'd... Interesting. I'd like to see your pillow situation. I, I cut it out in the pillow. Oh, man, it's brilliant. See, I mean, these are the things that the stars do that people just don't have any idea. You know, it's you have to cut your pillows up. Uh, you guys ever get jealous about how uh, just rugged and manly Rod is, or is it something you've just learned to deal with? Uh, I mean, it's Every just day. one of those things, man. You just. I mean, you're all handsome gentlemen. I don't mean to sound like, you know, well, you're just castaways. You. But I mean, if there's a level... We're kind of at the five level, maybe. Mm -hmm. Rod's damn near ten, I would say. That's I paid him to say that. Uh, well, yeah. I, I kind of figured. He's got the height, you know. He's, yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, he does cheat with the boots, but, you know, you have to do that. I mean, that's show business, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Take any advantage I can get. Yeah. You guys like my shirt? It's well, a fine shirt. I asked, shirt. I asked the woman at Woolsworth what shirt would be best to interview a a country band and she said this one so she knew her stuff okay good i'm just feeling a little intimidated now it brings out your eyes a lot oh actually. thank you doug i appreciate you you know we should have had you in the front seat maybe we'll nah. all right well nah. that's for, that's for next week backseat driver over here that's right so uh instrumentation wise on uh this album you guys uh you know get that good honky tonking thing going on i hear the steel guitar a lot and like who who plays who plays what in in the band here uh, I'm holding down the the drums in okay. the back. All right. Well, on the album, Rodney also laid down some guitars, and then I think at some point all of us probably played some some guitars, and I played some pedal steel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And Craigie played some bass. Yeah. Dougie played a bunch of guitars. Yeah. He plays a little guitar too. Mm -hmm. Craigie plays a uh, guitar on bed of roses. Yeah, it's a very oh, small one. It's that, about I was this about big. To say, a little a little guitar, like it's an actual little guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Small, yeah. It's not a ukulele though. Somewhere between standard, St standard, standard small, 
standard. Oh, most, the standard small. small. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. You don't see a lot of those anymore. Yeah, that's pretty. Rare. Now, when you talk about laying down guitars, I've always been interested uh, in how that works. Because, I mean, typically to play a guitar, you have to pick it up. So, when you're recording, how is it that you record while laying down guitar? Well, we usually pull the mic down to us. Oh, and so do you lay down with the guitar? Yeah. Oh. Like a Hendrix thing? Yeah, it's kind of like this. <laughs> I see. Just better tone that way, I guess? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. You can sit back up now. Okay. That brings in a I'd special pillow for recording, too. So that he oh, because that was the hat. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You, yeah. It goes with me everywhere. You can't have that. So that wasn't Honestly. accurate right there. It was close. Most quality ends don't carry those cutout hat pillows. No, I don't doubt it. No. Yeah. I have to take it with me. Yeah. Pretty sure the Obama administration outlawed those. You know? Sons of bitches. What are you going to do? I know. So nine golden country hits uh, here. Uh, why didn't you put? Uh, well, so okay. Well, I got a I got a question now. Uh, this just hit me. Nine golden country hits, but there's ten songs on the album. So which one? Which one do y'all not consider a golden country hit? I think it's mostly the one uh, Ian Thornton co-wrote. Oh, is that right? Yeah. It. Dangerous Doug can tell you all about it. Yeah, I'd love to hear that story, Dangerous Doug. I, I don't even know what he wrote on that, but I was just supposed to put his name on it, honestly. Is that right? I don't think he remembered what he wrote on it. That's the story, <laughs> right? He didn't. He didn't. I have an idea. of. Uh, he, he had a few lines in there. Yeah. He did one of those co-writes where he just, like, crossed out, like, a your and put, like, the Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, and he's like, yes, co Is that how that Kinda. works? He helped me fit some, uh, had too many words. He took some out. Mm, okay. I think he brought Doug a sandwich and was just kind of like was in the room while he and like was trying to, you know, take credit. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like I, I had I had almost finished a song, and I was like, man, this is not a solid gold country hit, and he convinced me that it was. So I had to like get his name on there. Okay. Okay. But these guys decided nine was a good number. Yeah. We'd also like for the listener to decide. I like that. That's almost like a choose-your-own-adventure book. Y'all remember those? Mm -hmm. I used to love those. Well, we don't want to be cocky either. I mean, we got to give a little bit of room. Nine, I think, is pretty, you know, humble, Yeah, I think I would say. Yeah. There's room to breathe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess it is pretty humble to say that only 90% of your album are golden country hits. Yeah, we're just being pragmatic, realistic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you want to stay relatable. Yeah, it's a good word. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Interesting. You know, y'all are a lot more down to earth than everybody told me you would be. It's all that laying down, man. <laughs> Gets you closer to the Gets ground. You closer to the ground. Yeah. Truly grounded. I like that. Yeah. Gravity's awesome. Um, who makes the most money in the band? The guy with his name in the band name. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you uh, brought that up. Um, cause who is, so who is the Dorado in the band? We're all Dorado. We okay. I think you gotta you you're not parsing it out enough. Oh, there's a, oh okay. There's oh, an okay. L, there's a D, there's a rod, and mm. there's an O. And there's an O. Like, oh, there's four mm -hmm. of you. Okay. Yeah, phonetically speaking. You guys just kinda blew my mind a little bit here. Hey man, you know. I, I kinda wish kind of wish production would have given me that in the notes. I wouldn't have felt so flat-footed right now. We do that daily. Know, yeah, I don't know where to go from there. Yeah. Wow. A lot to take in, folks. Folks, if you're just joining us here, El Dorado Unincorporated on the Whizbang Podcast. My name is Casey Campbell. Thanks for joining us here at the Foundry Theater in lovely Huntington, West Virginia. Uh, boys, uh, what do you got coming up here uh, in, in the near future? You got any uh, plans on a new album or... Uh, are there any uh, big time shows, or uh, you 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 dropping the the rap album soon, or anything? What's going on? Uh, we're always uh, concocting greatness. Okay. Uh, daily okay. and uh, putting it to tape and different forms of media. Um, next week, we'll be at the Southgate House Revival with uh, the Casey Campbell Band. I hear he's great. Uh, he's amazing. Yeah. And uh, we'll be there. Uh, honky and and tonky and nice to the to the wee hours um, of the evening, all before eleven. Yeah, and um, oh, of course. Um, and then we have uh, in May the Tennessee Motorcycle 
and music rally uh, on the Red Lens farm is what I hear. Nice. And that's going to be a fantastic time with, uh, I think, Paul Coffin's on there and uh, other Nikki Lane. Oh, uh, man. Awesome. Stay in your Nikki Lane, man, you know? Yeah. And uh, uh, there'll be a lot of dust. People will be Paul Coffin, and uh, <laughs> it, everything will be all right. Well played. So at that uh, festival, um, do, y- do you have to be on a motorcycle or in a car to play the music, or is it just more of like a conjoined thing? I asked them how hard it is to get drums on a motorcycle, and they said, well, we got one with a sidecar, so we'll we'll see how that goes. That'll make for great uh, video content. You we'll guys should definitely make sure you we'll capture that. We'll see how it goes. That. Yeah, we'll yeah. see how that goes. Okay. Well, excellent. Um, where'd that hat come from? Sears and Robux. Is that right? Yes. Can I have, can I have your hat after the show? After the show. Okay. But it never comes off, so I don't know how you're going to get it. I'll wrestle you. All right. All right. Guys, if I were to wrestle Rod, who do you think would win? Uh, Be honest. I mean, it depends on what kind of wrestling we're talking about. Oh, uh, uh, purely Greco-Roman. Greco-Roman yeah. wrestling? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably Casey. But if we're talking American wrestling, mm-hmm. Rod would I mean, I'm only uh, versed in the arts of wrestling. Oh, see, I only know wrestling. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, we, we – probably shouldn't then yeah it's somebody we somebody can't communicate you know what i mean <laughs> yeah we got to be able to communicate yeah. while we're on the mat yeah. you know or in your case the rang the rang yeah yeah the squared circle yeah um so uh uh craig uh how many push-ups can you do are we talking in one session or like a day total i'm like one session man i'd probably max out at 25 is that probably, right? I'd probably go with that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Number. That's a pretty good number. Yeah, number. yeah. yeah. James, uh, how many sit-ups uh, do you do in a day? 120. 120. Unreal. Doug, uh, leg press. What's your number? Leg press. Uh-huh. Oh man. I mean, I couldn't give you one. Yeah, you're very stout in the trunk. Yeah. yeah. You asked the right one because I can't really do much of sit-ups, and I could probably do push-ups for eternity. Yeah, but, you uh, can. Yeah. yeah. You are broad chested. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, in high school. I uh, can't remember the exact number, but it was like 700 when I did squats. Wow. Something like that. Was wow. Like Is that like kilograms or pounds? Uh, both. It's kind of why we let him carry the shows most nights. Oh, I see. Because yeah. he can, he can hold, take it, it. hold it down. Yeah. He can take it down. Yeah. Put the uh, whole drum set on my back and carry it. Mm-hmm. Oh, not, is that how is that how you guys load it in? It's just like one. It's kind of like carrying groceries in. Like yeah, we smoke cigars and stuff, and Doug handles it, and then we sat I'm down. A Doug and, truck. Yeah, yeah, they just load me up. Doug truck. Nice. Did you have you guys copyrighted that yet? Doug truck. Just did. You should. Just okay, did. good. Well, yeah, we're sitting here. It's already in the books. If anybody out in legal can reach out to us, uh, handle that copyright. We would really appreciate that. Um. Okay, great. Well, let's see here. Uh, so we've covered the stage. This is your first big stage. Um, are you guys comfortable uh, temperature-wise, like too cold or? I'm a little chilly, but are you? it's okay. Okay, if we could get somebody out there uh, in uh, Whizbang land to turn up the thermostat here at the foundry, that'd be great. Um, all right, well, uh, let's see, boys. Um, so... So you guys all share the songwriting abilities on the album, which I appreciate, you know. It's, you know, everybody always says that, you know, these guys out here have too many writers for their songs. You know, they're, they're crapping on people for having multiple writers and all their songs. And I appreciate you guys kind of pass all that stuff around. So uh, you, you, you think you could write me a song? Like, if I asked you to write me a song, like, could you guys, like, come together and write an El Dorado tune? Yeah. Yeah? For sure. Awesome. So do you want like some pen and paper, or do you like? Do uh, you do that I mean, part? like right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. there's kind of a fee involved with right now. Okay. Yeah. How much money you got? Uh, I've, I don't have my wallet actually. Mm. You might get a line out of us then. Uh, okay. Tops. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, Ain't nothing free, bro. Man, that's a great line. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing there free. It is. Ain't Ain't nothing look free. at that. All right. You guys, and I mean, nobody's copyrighted that yet, right? Well, all right. yeah. just it yet. Yeah. All right, let's see. Nothing free, F-R-E-E. Okay, great. 
man, y'all, y'all are good. I mean, that was quick. Like I can almost hear it in my head already. Mm -hmm. It's a G chord too. It's a G. It's a G chord. You guys play a lot of G chords? There's no chords on the drums, so I wouldn't know. Very true. Drums are tuned to G. Yeah. Just doesn't know. Yeah. Um, James, what's your favorite chord to play? F sharp minor. Oh, my man. That's a, that's a, that's a hard one. That's yeah. some jazz right there. That's a hard one. It's got a lot, it's got a lot to say. Yeah, yeah. You, y'all, do, y'all do any jazz on your country album? Any, any of those Does F sharp it say it on, on the front? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I mean, this was going really well until the attitude started coming in. So. <laughs> Why are you asking? <laughs> well, I, I mean, you know, you're throwing out F sharp minor, and if the man's favorite chord is an F sharp minor. We call minor, them off chords, man. <laughs> well. You There's a couple Beatle chords on yeah. there that might get into yeah. jazz. I don't know Is what that you right? want to call it. Yeah. Depends on what you know, who names things. I don't know. Yeah, there are some with numbers after them, and those are kind of scary. Oh, I really like dude. hearing a B7, but I don't like playing it. Yeah? yeah. Interesting. It's like your, your brain works one way and your hands work another. Right. That's interesting. That might need to be medically uh, looked at. Um, so let's see. All right. Well, guys, we're getting near the end of the uh, – uh, interview here. I do appreciate y'all. El Dorado, everybody. The album is unincorporated. We're going to help them get that incorporated status just as soon as we can. Uh, check them out online. What's the uh, website and all that stuff for you guys? It is El Dorado, all O's, dot net. El Dorado dot net. You can find their music anywhere you listen to your music or you can uh, download it illegally. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, folks, my name is Casey Campbell. Thanks for tuning in to the Whiz Bang Podcast.